In this example, I'm going to show you how you can build a complex furniture project in Polyboard in under 10 minutes. Here is an example of a project which is not just a simple box cabinet, but is a piece of furniture that fits between two walls, the top is inclined in a sloping roof, and it's been built around a column in one corner. Let's delete our cabinet to see the space that we'll be designing into. As we can see here, we have to design our furniture to fit into the attic room with a sloping roof. With polyboard, we've set up the room with transparent walls so that we can see more clearly the details of our project. We have also set up the back wall with our roof rafters to give the actual sloping of the ceiling. And let's design from scratch a piece of furniture that fits neatly into this space. Here we are in polyboard's project design mode. Let's use the new cabinet command to place a simple box cabinet into our room. Let's snap the box into our virtual space and we will modify later the size of the box. We can see in 3D that the box is now set into our room and is made simply of white panels. Let's adjust this box now to fit the size of our room. First let's change the height of our cabinet. To see the height that we need we're going to take a measuring tool and measure the height of the back wall here. We see we have 3000 millimeters, that's 3 meters. Let's change now the height of the cabinet. Let's click on the cabinet and look into its height property and set that to 3000. Now we need to set the width of our unit. With the measuring tool I'm going to measure the horizontal distance between this wall and this wall. We have 3200 millimeters. Now I'm going to set the cabinet width to 3200 millimeters. The box is resized and I'm going to move the box into its correct position. In 3D we can see clearly that the box fits neatly between the walls. We can also see that for the moment the column is actually inside the box. We will build the box around the column but before we do that let's make the top of the box fit the slope of the roof. To get the correct slope of the roof, let's measure the vertical distance between the top and the bottom of our roof rafter. With our measuring tool we can see that the vertical distance is 1 meter, so let's go into our cabinet edit mode, select the top and make its left hand side go down 1 meter. Now we can see that the top of our box follows perfectly the slope of the roof rafter. However, I would prefer the cabinet to be a bit lower than the rafter so that it's not actually touching the ceiling. To do this, let's reduce the total height of our cabinet by 50 millimeters. So while the cabinet is selected, I'll change the height from 3000 millimeters to 2950 millimeters, and we can see in 3D that our cabinet is now 50 millimeters underneath the ceiling. In 3D we can see clearly that the left corner column or wall pillar is actually inside our cabinet. So the next thing we have to do is to design our cabinet to move around this corner column. To do this let's measure the penetration of the corner column into the cabinet volume. To make this easier I'm going to go into the plan view and use the measuring tool. With the measuring tool let's measure from the side wall here to the face of the column. We have here 350 millimeters. Now let's le measure from the back wall here to the front of the column and we have 150 millimeters. Now let's go back into our cabinet edit mode and build the back of the cabinet around our column. I'm going to modify the left back corner by creating a cutout using the cutout command. I say that I want to cut out the left side where it meets the back. Let's have a closer look and I set the penetration of the left side to 350 and the penetration into the back at 150 millimeters. And when I click OK we can see that the polyboard has set up the cutout to go move around the column. While we're here, let's put a plinth underneath this cabinet. I'm going to set the cabinet up 100 millimeters high and I'm going to stick on the front a plinth which is going to be set back here 50 millimeters. Let's go back into our 3D and see what our project now looks like. 
We can see now that the cabinet is being cut out to fit neatly around the corner column. The roof is sloping at 5 centimeters, 50 millimeters below the ceiling and our project is looking quite neat. Let's have a look at the details of our cabinet in 3D. If we look carefully at our model in 3D we can see that it's made of simply white melamine. If we look in transparent mode we can see that all the panels are just butt jointed and there are no hardware or assembly details. Let's say that this project will in fact be made in veneered oak with beige doors. With polyboard we can change each part but we have a tool that will enable us to change all the characteristics of our project in one click. This tool is called Manufacturing Methods and works like a style sheet that I can apply to a project to define all details and how the project is built. Let's apply a new style sheet to our project. Let's choose this one and so we can see that the 3D model is now been changed and all our basic materials have been changed to oak veneers. If I look in the transparent view I can see that hardware and assembly details have been added to the joints and that our panels are now assembled using cam and dowels. Let's go and have a look at our room and see how our new cabinet looks in place. We can see now that the cabinet with its oak material fits nicely into our room. However, we can also see that the cabinet is too deep and is blocking the window. Let's use our measuring tool to see what distance we have between the back of the cabinet up to the window. We can see that we have in fact 650 millimeters up to the window. So let's give our cabinet a new depth of 500 millimeters. Let's just clip the cabinet back into its position and let's see in 3D what this gives. We can see now that the cabinet actually doesn't go over the window and fits nicely in its position. Let's take the cabinet now and start adding some elements inside the cabinet. Let's start by adding a horizontal division at 800 millimeters from the bottom. The cabinet is now divided into two volumes and let's add some uprights to the lower volume. Let's say we want three uprights to separate it into four sections. Let's put some doors into this section here. I just click on the section and I'm going to add a couple of double doors onto the section. Now let's take another section here and let's put three shelves. Let's th put three mobile shelves. I think that the three is maybe too much. Let's erase one of these shelves so that we just have two shelves. Now let's put some shelves in this section too. Let's put just two shelves in this section. And in this section here, let's put a series of drawers. Let's put all the inside of the drawers. And there we have our drawers. Now let's do the same for the upper volume here by adding some uprights. Let's add also three uprights here. Let's go into this left hand volume and add some shelves. Let's add three shelves. Um, three is maybe a bit too many because this doesn't leave a lot of room between the top of the furniture and the shelf. Let's get rid of it. In this area here let's add a couple of doors. And that inside this cupboard let's add some shelves as well. And let's get into this volume here and we're also going to add some shelves. And in this volume here as well, let's add a few shelves to complete our bit of furniture. Let's go now into 3D, see what it looks like. The, this piece looks quite neat and we can now have a look what it looks like in our room. And here in the room we can see that the project fits quite neatly into the space. We can open and close the different elements 
and we can verify all the details in 3D as well as the aesthetic appeal of the project. This project has actually taken me less than 10 minutes to set up and as well as having the design, Polyboard is actually giving us now all the different manufacturing documents that we can now have a look at. If we look at the model in X-ray view, we can see that Polyboard has calculated all the manufacturing details. We can see all the mobile shelves have got their holes drilled out for putting in the pegs. The hinges have been accounted for in the doors and the cam and dowel assemblies have been accounted for the carcass and as well as we can see that all the drawers and all different different detailing parts of the drawers have been actually drawn up in polyboard. Polyboard has produced the cutting lists for all the different parts of our project as well as having all the detailed plans for each different part with the machining of all the holes necessary for the assembly details and the hardware. As well as the plans, Polyboard is also calculating the total price, cost price of your project as you are designing. And you can also print out some labels to stick on your parts that will enable you to follow each part through the manufacturing process as well as Polyboard will write automatically all your CNC files if you are using a CNC machine. I've been able to design this unit in under 10 minutes. As you can see designing even complex projects with Polyboard is fast, easy and efficient and note that Polyboard is updating automatically all the cutting lists, parts drawings, CNC files and prices as you design.